What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. All right, so in last week's video, we took a look at using the different layer modes that we have available within Impact XT, and more specifically, we focused on using the velocity and the round robin or the random modes. In this week's video, I wanna take a look at the stacked mode. And this is actually something that changed between uh, version three, Impact, and Impact XT, which was introduced in version four. So I've pulled up a new instance of Impact, and what I want to do is, I've got some snares here that I've downloaded from Splice. I'll have a quick listen. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to take some snares, but, I wanted to use samples to build something unique and I actually wanted to layer in some different snares that we have available. So let's pull a couple of these in, maybe three. Okay, actually we'll just use these three. I'm gonna shift select these and I'm going to drag them and drop them onto a pad. In this case, C1 and it says insert samples. We're gonna let go and now we see that we have these snares that have been mapped out. Now we have these tabs across the top. If we hover over top, we can see the actual name of the snares. What I want to do is let's rename this pad and let's just call this layered snare. We will click okay. All right, so now the idea here is in terms of the layer mode, I wanna choose stack. Now what happens when you choose stack is it does what it says in the tin. It's going to play all three of them together. So this would be the exact same as if I was to take all of these files, these snare samples, drag them on and let me just drag them in here. And if I was to layer these together every time I wanted to, and I was to come up with some type of blend or mix between the two of them or between the three of them, either by using event gain or the mixer. Okay, so let's get rid of these for a moment. Let's go back to opening up Impact XT. So the idea now, let me just take this and turn it down because I've got no idea how loud it's going to be. Maybe somewhere about here. Okay, so I've got them set to one shot and I've got them set to stack. Now, in terms of adjusting the overall balance, if we click on any of these tabs, we can make adjustments to, for example, the starting points over here. So if I wanted to make sure that they were all starting at a zero crossing point, that's something that I could do. Now, once I'm happy with these in terms of the starting points, we also have the ability to adjust the gain. But if you're using the stack mode and you have any one of these tabs selected, let's bring this back to its uh, default view. If I adjust the amp settings, for example, the gain, it's adjusted it for all of them. This is where the edit sample function comes in. Any time that you're using a stack mode or you have multiple samples that are mapped out to one pad, you'll see that you have the option to edit sample. Now, when you click the edit sample option, let me just reset this back to its default. For example, I can choose different gain settings or filter or pitch settings for these different samples. So let's actually leave this one where it is. Maybe this one, I'll tell you what, I know what we're gonna do. Let's move this one down. We'll leave this one at zero and we'll move this one up. And I actually wanna change this from stack to round robin. So this will now cycle between these different ones. So you can see the first one, which is this, is set to lower, the second one, and then the third one is the loudest. Okay, let's reset these and I'll go over here reset that and I'll go over here and reset that. So anytime you need to make any adjustments to either the amp or for example, the pitch or anything like that, you want to choose the edit sample option, which will allow you to access these parameters for each one of these samples individually. And then once you're happy, you can remove yourself from the edit sample page and then you are back to listening to all three of these together. So the idea would be that I would choose a nice blend between all three of these so that I got the tone that I was looking for. Maybe we can take this one. Maybe I wanna move this up a little bit. And we gotta change this back to stack. Okay, maybe I want more of this snap this or this pop or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, we'll have a listen now. 
Okay. So it's just about dialing things in, using the edit sample to adjust the offsets. And now instead of having three different pads that we would have to trigger, and for example, if I was to program this, I would essentially have to alter option drag to create a new MIDI note or, or note event that could trigger uh, all these samples separately. But if we have this in the stack layer mode, then we can set that blend, we can adjust the filters or anything like that, and we can get a nice sounding snare that's unique using a different group or a different set of uh, multiple samples together, something that fits our track, and then just map it out to one pad. And then at the end of the day, this one pad then becomes one sound. So that's using the stack layer mode with Impact XT, and more specifically using the edit sample mode to edit any offset so that you can map out multiple samples to one pad. And again, this is something that was referred to as something completely different in the previous version of Impact. I think it was polyphonic mode versus monophonic mode or something like that. I can't recall at the moment. But anyways, I just thought I would share this tip with you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Again, any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.